Hey, hey, Marcus Conti reporting the day after the Gilets Jaunes protests in France, all across France and Paris and Beijing, Bourges, Bourges, <laughs> right in the middle and the south. Right, the French are on the move, 100,000 French demanding their rights, demanding that the banks give back the money they stole over the years. So I've always said that there has to be a cultural boom Whenever you have these these economic outraws, when, uh, when people start to realize, when they start to come to terms with the fact that it is an economic problem, right? And we point all our energy, all of us together like a big family, we point our energy at the problem, which right now is the, is the, is the corrupt, broken banking system that's stealing all our money, that, that pay off the politicians, blah, 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 right? So here's a great song. I found this song. Uh, let it express itself in yellow vest and may the musicians come forward and speak <laughs> so check this out this is a good video i found this uh van buren brothers the illuminati song <laughs> this is this is some shit right here this is really good man so uh they're singing about um well i won't tell you just check this out man To get into the Illuminati Cause we wanna get invited to the coolest parties By subtly communicating hidden symbology Soon we'll be part of a secret society Hollywood will open up its doors for us We'll meet the inner circle of executives We'll give a guy a tea and a warm jacuzzi And the guy will put us in a Disney movie Then they'll play a music on MTV We'll be given designer clothes for free And we can drive everywhere DUI Cause we'll be under the protection of the all-seeing eye And we'll never have to worry about bills again Cause the Rockefeller family will be our best friends We'll fuck a squirrel and think Fish and triangle, triangle, I, I, pyramid. Illuminati. You can be rich and famous too. Illuminati. I love the establishment. Yay! We want to get into the Illuminati and we want to hang out with Jay Z and Beyonce. We want to sell our souls in a billion records and bow before our reptilian overlords. The near light and few will bring us into the fold where we'll be told secrets of old. Like why the CIA killed JFK and why on earth the moon landing was fake. Being Illuminati will be so much fun. We'll learn the truth. About area 51. They'll tell us where flight MH317 is and which politicians like to fuck kids. We'll get a million followers on Instagram. We'll have the whole white world in our hearts. The Rothschilds will take us to Bohemian Grove, where it's likely that we'll both be murdered and claimed. Illuminati. Let's manipulate the economy. <laughs> Illuminati. War is good for humanity. We'll be given the keys to unlock the Bible and we'll become Lucifer's loyal disciples. We'll pray to Baphomet and the princes of hell. We'll bathe in pig's blood and cut ourselves under the blood moon beneath Satan's radiant energy. Before the Dark Lord Lucifer himself, I invoke the four crown princes of hell, inviting the forces of darkness to bestow their knowledge and power upon me. I, your faithful servant, promise to hide triangles in court, perform at the Grammys and tell people the earth is round. From this day forth, I'll do whatever it takes to form globalism, multinational corporations, the establishment and the military industrial complex. Illuminati. I love fracking, it's the best. Illuminati. Let's go for some pizza. What flavor? Kitty flavor. Illuminati. We're gonna get assassinated for making this video. Illuminati. It's more like initiated. Illuminati, right? What what's the message in the song? The guys are singing about all the the absurdity of trying to become part of the establishment that is breaking at the seams, right? Holding on for dear life, right? And you see that. I mean, that's expressed in the the velvet rope in New York, right? Some clubs, right? You can't get into the club, right? You got to stand outside behind the velvet rope, and you have to be picked to come into the club, right? Now that that defies five or ten or maybe 25 different forms of discrimination right <laughs> are involved in that kind of pick like they don't like the way you look you're too fat you're too you're too this color you're too that color you're not dressed right right, right? where do we draw the line now we don't like your shoes we don't like your face man we just don't like you man get out of here right and uh but people want to be part of that part that party man so it's that's the way it is so i'm, I'm looking at the new york post today there's a lot of articles 
floating around about the economy. But this is an interesting one. And I know, I know you guys can't stand Alessandra Ocasio-Cortez, but she's getting them to speak, right? So this is from the uh, New York Post, and it's uh, Jonathan Thrugman, right? Jonathan Thrugman, right? This guy's a real real hack, right? I see him in there all the time, right? He's a he's a he's uh, an economic hack, right? Ocasio-Cortez's economic vision is more like delusion. All right, let's check it out then. <laughs> they always put a stupid face, right? Now, again, she's not the brightest. Uh, she's not the sharpest uh, nail in the uh, box. And uh, certainly, certainly, um, I'm, I'm no, no fan, right? They're bashing her. She's saying... Because she's stupid, she doesn't she doesn't articulate her plan completely, right? She proposed proposes to raise taxes to the highest cases. In the highest cases, seventy percent in order to create a green new deal that would save the environment. Right? So they're they're kind of like they're kind of like spinning what it is their progressive policy is, which is really universal single payer health care. It's it's free college tuition at city and state universities, right? Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of things in there, but let's look at um, this author. What's his name? Jonathan Jonathan Thrugman. It's a spin on Krugman, right? You you know the other guy, the uh, the genius from Princeton, Paul Krugman. It's just the post comes up with a Thrugman. <laughs> he probably doesn't even exist. He's probably a fake person. I have a few questions. The first one is just what economic problem are you trying to solve? Because right? they're saying she's trying to solve the economic problem, right? Has a vision, a vision for the so so he's he's saying that there's no economic problem, right? Right? What what problem? What I don't see a problem. I can't see a problem out my window. I make you know I make a hundred grand a year writing bullshit for the, for the New York Post, right? What problem? What are you talking about, right? But then this again, seventy percent of the country is. Is uh, you know uh, uh, living paycheck to paycheck, eighty percent, seventy, eighty percent, right? They're working two and a half jobs. They don't have money for for anything, right? One in seven on food stamps. Eighty percent of the country just living paycheck to paycheck, scraping by, right? And you're seeing that system fail in 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 uh, in France, certainly in France, where people are paying forty five percent tax, right? I think that's what they pay. Like if you're under thirty grand. 45 percent tax and then you run out of money by the end of the year by the end of the month right what problem i don't see a problem right in this in this in this country is no problem right abject poverty all over the place drive across the country go to detroit right burned out you know cities like so it's it's delusional right the delusion is the spin masses that come in now again it's not a defense of the 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 um the person they're criticizing it's a defense of the because we just saw Trump, if you watch the interview with uh, uh, Judge Judge Janine, right? He talks about how the economy has never been so good, but there's no real evidence to suggest that. They point to unemployment numbers being the lowest ever. They point to seasonal jobs in December, right? These are these are fiction, right? They point to 3.7 or 3.9 as being the official unemployment number. In the U.S., but in actuality, it's more like 17 to 20 percent. Right? So it's a it's a blisteringly inaccurate statement to say that employment is uh, that the economy is, is never been so good. Right. So what else do you say? Why do you want to revamp, redistribute and recreate the world's greatest economy? Because it's not working for all people. Right. It's topped out as capitalism usually does. I watched. I was watching a good clip as well. This guy was talking about. He's making a case that um, he said that societies evolve in this way. They say uh, uh, societies evolve primitively, right? And then they they become uh, uh, slavery, right? And then it's uh, f feudalism, right? I don't even know what that is, right? And then it evolves to a kind of like a capitalism, then socialism, then communism. Right. Now you might not agree with that, but it, it's an interesting. It is an interesting statistic, and an interesting fact that the Chinese economy, which is you know by all means shouldn't be as as robust as it is, is on the verge of surpassing the U.S. economy very soon. Probably in the next ten years, it'll do that. 
as to, as we decline and they exceed forward. But that's not supposed to happen under communism, right? It's not, it's not supposed to work like that, right? People are not super per capita. People are making more there than they are here in 10 years. You know? that's, what's, that's what's coming down to it. So why do you want to cre- recreate the world's greatest economy? Because, again, it's not working for all people. Right, so you have to you have to you have to enforce political reform, right? In a communist system like in China, they don't have that problem for a variety of reasons because there's a built-in reform into that system. In our system, what do we have? We got Democrats and Republicans fighting back and forth, arguing. Nothing gets done. No reform. The voice of the people never gets done, right? So that is part of the revamp, Mr. Thrugman from the New York Post, right? That's part of what we're talking about. There's a reason people want to come running over our border. Well, sometimes they're, you know, sometimes they're kids and they're, right, the economies collapse in South America. Well, they're very, very, uh, uh, you know, undernourished, so to speak, right? But that's, that's, that's also, I mean, it's just, it's just that's why. Oh, because they're jumping over the border. Right? So now you're going to build a wall and they can't get in. <laughs> there are reasons people want to come running over our border. I just read that. This is the only country in the world where you can start with nothing and end up with something of substance. It's not true. There's a, there's a thousand countries. Most most Europe, most Western countries, most countries in 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 that you can't make anything of substance. How do you define substance, right? extreme wealth is that what you're implying right it's just it's just it's what i'm pointing out is the gross inaccuracies the gross um uh you know they're they're just umbrella phrases that these these uh people throw out and try to cover everybody it's like you know trying to cover everybody with the same umbrella right right the first one is just just what economic problems are you talking about why do you want to revamp the greatest economy? There's a reason people are jumping over the borders, right? It's all it's all innuendo. This is the only country in the world where you can start with nothing and end up with something of substance, right? All all just there's no facts in there. And there and where else on this planet have so many life-altering things been invented? Well, we certainly have invented a lot of things, and we certainly continue to invent a lot of things but slowly the numbers suggest that we are in a debt bubble the 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 wealthiest people in the country are now getting nervous about their assets they're moving into more you know like um, money market funds and those sorts of things they're getting out of speculation right so there's plenty of places where people uh invent things right all over the world right chinese japanese fucking russians you know, everywhere. People invent stuff everywhere. Chinese are on the moon right now, looking at the other side, right? We couldn't figure that out. We had a lie about actually going to the moon. Right? We, had a, we had to fabricate a moon landing in a Hollywood studio. Is that what really happened? I'm starting to believe it. I'm almost there. I have no problem with radical ideas. Who would have thought we could fly? That's what he said. It's just it's just ridiculous. But look around. The country is growing and thriving due to low taxes. Why should we return to Obama's years of high taxes? No, it, it, no one's saying to, re, to to return to any. It's it's a twist. What what the what the progressive left, the kooky loony left, is is proposing is something very very basic and something very American that occurred in um, the FDR days, which is which is a, a New Deal. They, they call it a Green New Deal, but it's a new deal for the American people. You jack up the corporate tax rate. You deflate the corporations. You deflate the billionaires. You sink their banks. You destroy their stock market. And you return power to the people. It's not, it's not that complicated to understand. And it's, not, it's also not that hard to understand why establishments and, and, and corporate media that are paid by these establishment entities uh, are spinning it to say that this... This this idea of income and wealth inequality, this idea of taxing the wealth and revamping the greatest economy, the number one economy in the world right now, is uh, it, do it now before it collapses, which it appears, again, to be on the verge of collapse. Right. Marcus Conti reporting.